Hey friends, today I am at Forever Vintage. They have some of the rarest Disney World props and resort use furniture I have ever seen. So we're gonna give you a little tour and check out some things and hopefully I'm gonna buy something. I'm excited. Let's go do this. I've come here a couple different times and they always have amazing items and they have a Facebook page where you can actually browse some of the items that they have. They even ship some smaller ones so I'll put all that information in the description below. But let's start off with these chairs right here. These chairs come from one of the most luxurious areas in Walt Disney World. These are from Golden Oak, the million dollar community on Walt Disney World property where you can buy a house. That's amazing, isn't it? $95. They have these like in their own like community pool area. But wow, I don't think I, I would never even be able to sit in one of these except for right now. I am sitting in a golden oak chair. Never thought I would say that. Along with the chair outside, here is a little couch. And this is from the Grand Floridian Club level. The main level inside the Grand Floridian lobby. Princess Diana and her family actually rented out that whole entire level for their family when they vacationed here. So like, I don't know when this was actually put in there, but maybe a member of the royal family actually sat on this. That blows your mind, right? I mean, I think it's amazing. $265 for such an amazing piece. I think that's unbelievable. Things like that, I just think are absolutely priceless. I have no idea why. I just have such a draw to like history and even not just the parks, the resorts too. And a furniture, like a couch from club level at Grand Floridian, I think that's just like an amazing piece. They have other resort chairs too. Like this is the Polynesian one. This is Wilderness Lodge. Look at Thumper in the background on that. Isn't that nifty? $365 for this actual chair. And it comes with a little footrest and it has little hidden Mickeys actually inside there. That's crazy to own a piece of furniture from the Grand Floridian. I'm not gonna be able to tell you all the prices because some things aren't marked, but you can always just contact Forever Vintage. You can give them a call or look it up on Messenger, on Facebook. Like I said, I'll put all that information so you can reach out to them, it's easy. Now we're gonna head inside. I'm gonna show you some of the cool stuff. Obviously, we've seen the contemporary bellhop cart here. I think that's amazing. The World of Disney rug. So much that I just absolutely love everything in here. These are all pieces from Animal Kingdom Lodge. I absolutely love this one. That is so awesome. That is just like some kind of art that they have in the rooms. Wow. That is so unique. And then these actually have a whole bunch of different characters on them. So I'm gonna try to show it like you can see elephants, but you can see Simba right here. Yeah, look at, oh wow, there's Nala. Aw, and then Simba or baby Simba. I don't know if you can see it too well. There you go, baby Simba. That is really nifty. That's $125 and it's, it's actually really, really large. I see zebras and everything. And I like how they have the shop set up where everything is like Animal Kingdom Lodge in this area. And then they have a pirate section right down here that I'm gonna show you that's really nifty. So like all of this is Animal Kingdom Lodge. This mirror is Animal Kingdom Lodge. They have this one, they have even a bigger one. All of the different stuff that's on the hallways. This is from the rooms, $85 for this, I like it. Lots of detail. All the bed runners and carpets. The baskets, these are all from things inside Animal Kingdom Lodge. Down here we have all the stuff from the pirate rooms at Caribbean Beach, including the gigantic pirate mirror. That is so nifty, isn't it? Look at the detail. And it's such a huge mirror. And then these are all the different bed runners from the actual rooms. You can see it like right here, yeah. So these are the rooms themselves, and they have trunks, everything. Very nifty. Earlier I was telling you about the Grand Florida and how I love the different history of the resorts and this is a really cool piece too because I don't see many of these at all. These are lamps from the Grand Floridian and look at Mickey on them with the top hat and everything. This is amazing. I don't see many of these at all, like I said. I think this is a very rare find and if you do find them, usually the nose is broken off of them. Wow. $485 for this. Honestly, I think that's worth every single penny. It's heavy. 
it's very heavy. Of course, you guys know the Polynesian village was going through a huge refurbishment. So a lot of the stuff from there is actually here that you can buy. And I've been showing that for the past couple weeks. But I just want to give you a run through because some of this stuff is fairly new and I haven't showed before, which makes it even better. Obviously, we've seen all the different tiki gods and these are the lamps from the rooms. But these are the newer ones and they're starting to actually pop up. I like these ones a lot. These ones are really fun, and I think they used to sell them at the Polynesian, but I don't think anymore. Down here are all the different pictures, and what makes these so cool and unique is because they are stamped, and they even tell you, like, Disney Worldwide Shared Services, Polynesian Rehab or Refurb from 2005. So these have been in the Polynesian rooms for 15 years. $35. Speaking of the Polynesian, these are the gigantic Polynesian chairs from the lobby. These are from the lobby of the Polynesian Resort. I think that is such an amazing thing. They actually have all the information for them on here too. And they even tell you these were last reupholstered in 2018, $225 a piece. These right here are so amazing. Wow, these are from the contemporary. That's great, that one too. Oh, there's a picture right here. So the pillow right there goes on the bed. And then these pillows are actually from the little sofa. $45 a piece. I think that's well worth it. I get so excited because you know I absolutely love the contemporary. But there's some other really cool stuff over here. Some stuff from within the parks like Magic Kingdom that I really, really like. This is a beverage sign right here from Magic Kingdom. I think this was in Casey's. That's amazing, isn't it? Like, I mean, it's such a unique piece, $125. Wow, I think that's an amazing deal too. Sorry, I know I'm saying wow and amazing and deal because things like that are just treasures to me. I love them so much. This is a really cool piece. This is Pleasure Island. If you guys remember Disney Springs or Downtown Disney, very old. I absolutely love this. This is hard to come by. This was actually like inside Pleasure Island. Over here we have some canisters from Galaxy's Edge. I think that's amazing because, you know, that's a rather new addition to a park. To see stuff already for sale makes it really fun. And then some more furniture. This is a gigantic couch from Yacht Club. Yeah, they actually had this like in between the hallways there. I actually remember seeing this. Look at this, this is all from Yacht Club. I love all of the artwork and the hidden Mickeys. This is from Port Orleans right here. Oh wow, right here. Can you see the hidden Mickeys from Port Orleans? Right here. That is really nifty. I have seen lots of amazing Disney wall art before in the past, but a couple of these are my absolute favorite things I've ever seen that you can actually buy from Walt Disney World. So these were owned you know, by Walt Disney World in resorts, or even some of them were in like VIP or corporate presidents like offices that just have a lot of Disney history to them. This is a really cool find. This is the trading post at Frontierland at Disneyland by Sam McKim, 1956 from the Walt Disney Imagineering Collection. Look at that. I've never seen anything like that, $200. I have never seen anything like that. Over here, we have some artwork from Fort Wilderness, and this is the actual train that's no longer there. Look at it. That is such a unique picture. I absolutely love it. It has a little stamp there. Very cool. And then this is a desk. Look at The desk is from, I think, the All-Stars. I love the Mickeys going around it. A lamp right here. This is from, oh, Coronado Springs. Okay, it actually has a little hidden Mickey on it. I wonder if it lights up like a hidden Mickey on the ceiling then. I bet you it does. That's really interesting. A couple of other cool things, a different resort like bed runners and like bed skirts. I think that's really cool. Saratoga, Grand Floridian. These ones are super, super awesome. I absolutely love this. This is from Disney's Port Orleans, $65. And you know what makes these really cool is because they have all the different characters from Splash Mountain on them. So this is Br'er Rabbit right there fishing. And then you can see, oh, there's the frog from Splash Mountain. It's really cool, Dixie Landings. 
Look at it. Wow. I absolutely love these. These are $65 a piece. I can see that though because like I said, all the different Splash Mountain characters in there make it extra special. Here are a couple more cool things from Port Orleans. These are from the Royal Rooms. I like those a lot. That's Wilderness Lodge. Here's carpet from Epcot. I think these were actually in the interventions. I'm not sure yet. If you guys know where this is from Epcot, please let me know because I've been looking and wondering for a while. The Grand Floridian picture, that is absolutely amazing. I don't even know if the price is marked for this. $245 for that. That is beautiful. Like I said, I'm sorry I don't show all the prices sometimes. They're just not marked, so I don't want to just say something. Over here, you have more of the pillows from Saratoga Springs. See, they have like all the different horses on them. $40 each. They have Grand Floridian pillows. They have Wilderness Lodge pillows. These are the ones we've seen out front. I like those a lot. These are from huh, Beach Club, I think. Yeah, these are really nice as well. All the pillows from all the resorts. When it comes to like resort collectibles and stuff like that, I absolutely love the things that have like meaning like like to them. I mean, they're all meaning not just to say it was from Port Orleans or from the contemporary. Like I like to have like a little history behind them or like a little like nod to like a specific movie. So like obviously we've seen like Splash Mountain and the Port Orleans Bed Runners. But this right here is cool because it has a nod to the Fox and the Hound which is a really cool Disney movie that I love. Look how cute that is. These are from Disney Saratoga. These are the bed runners and it's the Fox and the Hound. I absolutely love it. It's such a really awesome piece. Some more Grand Floridian items. These are lamps, Grand Floridian. I like that because this actually would fit. Oh wow, that is so heavy. Holy moly, that is really heavy. That would fit in right now at the Enchanted Rose. And then the weekly parasol parade at the Grand Floridian. These are the umbrellas they used. That's really nifty. 26 bucks for that. Another really cool piece is this actual table from Captain Cook's at the Polynesian Resort. Isn't that amazing? This is well, well a long time ago. But wow. I mean, there's a lot of Captain Cook's fanatics out there. I know I love the coconut meatballs. We got a couple of the Polynesian pictures still here. These are very, very popular because they have a whole bunch of hidden Mickeys inside them. These are from the rooms inside the Polynesian. If you guys have a hard time trying to find the hidden Mickeys, I'll try to show you a couple of them real quick. Let's see. Oh, yep. All right, here's one. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn you this way to show you. Right there. Pretty awesome, right? And they have different actual ones. So like, everything's not the same. Oh, another hidden Mickey right there. That's really cool, right? I love these. $225 and they're very long. They go like alongside like a couch. I say that because I have one of them like actually above my couch. That's where I wanted to put it and I love it. I have the one with the uh, sunset. Cause you know I love sunsets. I love sunrises too. Another really cool picture right here, Cinderella Castle. And it's actually kind of like put together to show the process of it being built. This is only $250. I think that's pretty amazing actually. And then down here, an Animal Kingdom Lodge mirror, but this is from one of the suites, like the Asante suite. Asante sana, squash banana. Because this store itself, Forever Vintage, is only open on Saturdays, but they do sell their stuff through the Facebook page, they opened another spot in a antique mall, kind of like the Lakeland Antique Mall, and that's right down the road, and that's open I think six days a week. So uh, we're gonna swing down there and I'm gonna show you some of the cool stuff in there because they have different stuff, uh, Disney and antiques. And I think it'll be a good place to look. And if you're ever out this way and you can't come here on Saturday itself, you can always buy stuff there. So it's worth showing you because I think it's fun. And this is where we were talking about the Bless This Mess Antique Shop right in Dundee, Florida. I like it. I like that little vintage sign and then the little artwork that they have. This is a really nice spot. And like I said, they have some Disney stuff inside here. I also like the name Dundee for a town. I wonder if they have an award ceremony here where they actually give out Dundies, you know, like Dundee awards. 
and take a look at this. I absolutely love it in here. They have so many cool knickknacks. And like I said, the Forever Vintage booth that they actually put here is where some of their stuff that they sell inside the store, if you wanted to come down and it wasn't a Saturday, you can get it right here. They have the Disney Springs uh, glass bottles, the Polynesian pictures. This is really cool. This is the Pirate's Mirror from Caribbean Beach, like from the Pirate's Room. And they even have like the trunks and the bed runners. These are really nifty actually. I like all the different pirate symbols on there. This mirror is $345. It's pretty big though. Look how large it is. Everything here is for pickup, so it's like a fun thing to do. Just come by for the weekend or during the weekday to just shop a little bit. And if you see something from Forever Vintage's like main store, they could always just send it over here if they know you're coming here. Do you know what I mean? So like, if you see something there and you want to pick it up, they can just send it over here and then you can pick it up any day of the week. It's got some of the classic things, all the bed runners and even the Polynesian lamps. One thing I noticed is this gigantic yacht club rug. It's a little bit covered because they have stuff on it, but right here in the middle, you can see the hidden Mickey down there. This was from the lobby at Yacht Club. This chair was from Yacht Club too. I like how they put it. Oh, you can see the actual rug. Wow, that's really awesome, isn't it? And this chair is huge. They have some other cool stuff, including a lamp from Wilderness Lodge. Now these are like the big floor lamps. I like the design of it. And then this Mickey lamp, I think this is from Saratoga? Or is it from Yacht Club? Yacht Club. Look at that. That is one of the coolest little lamps. Mickey's got a Mickey and then a hidden Mickey on Mickey. These are really, really cool because these are from Wilderness Lodge and they actually have Donald, Mickey, Minnie, and Pluto on them. But where's the goof? Why did, why did they not put the goof on there? One of my favorite things is the Animal Kingdom Lodge nightstands. Take a look at this because Simba. This is so unique, I feel like. These were in the rooms at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I absolutely love it. These are $225. I think they're well worth it. Just because of like the Simba right on there. And they were inside the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Like that's, that's crazy. And like I said, even if you're just not a Disney person and you're just like antique shopping, this place is pretty amazing. It's very, very big. I just noticed that there's two other buildings that are connected to it. I picked up their card just so I can give you a quick look, but I'll add the address and they have a Facebook page. I'll put it in the description of the video so you can check it out. But I want to just give you a quick run around of the store because like I said, there's so many unique things that you would be able to find here. I always am like drawn to vintage and antique stuff. I don't know why. Honest lawyer. It is much like the Lakeland Antique Mall. It's basically a big large space where people rent out the spot. So there's like 10 different vendors in here and they're different booths and it's just managed and run by one person, which makes it good because it's a big variety of things. I really love Florida roadside signs. So like look at that citrus country groves. That is something that I would actually want. And then they have a whole bunch of different ones like fresh milk and just things to do. Florida marmalade over there. That is really cool. I love old canisters of things. That is a <laughs> Nabisco saltine crackers like tin. That's crazy, right? So they would put like four packages in there and then the old Maxwell House coffee can. Look at that, seven bucks. This is really awesome. I wonder when this was from. I wonder when that one was from. If you see something you like in here, you can actually call them up and get a price on it. Some things aren't priced like on them themselves, so I don't want to say anything if I don't know the price of it. But also, they don't do shipping, but if you want to call, you can maybe buy it and put it on the side so no one else can come get it. So that's why I'm going to put all the information below for here and Forever Vintage's like main store. This is another really cool thing. If you guys remember when I used to go and do videos at the Lackawanna Coal Mine, they actually had the phones that had no static to them because of it being down in a mine. And this is actually stamped that way. It's very nifty looking, isn't it? 
It's a special phone just for the coal mines. I don't know why, but I absolutely love that Main Street Coffee Shop sign. It just seems like it fits so perfectly well in a kitchen. And with that, I think I am done here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoy them. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna call it a night. You never know what you can get in these places. It's so much fun and I love discovering things and just finding a little history of Disney in different shops all over Florida. I have tons of different videos. So I hope you enjoy all of them and I'll continue on making them. So uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.